Hey folks, Ray from DCRimmaker.com. Today I've got something a little unique, a little bit different. I'm in the team car of Team FDJ, uh, Team FDJ in English, um, for stage five of the Tour Down Under. Here, uh, starting in McLarenville and then going up along a hill. It's going to do this whole circuit a few different times. Uh, the hill twice. It'll be pretty epic. It's a, a, a really exciting stage, something a lot of folks tend to look forward to because of how many people are here. I mean, if you look out here, there's just so many folks out here today. It's absolutely bonkers. Everyone has ridden out from out out here uh, it's a you know 60 to 90 minute ride depending on how lucky you are uh, and the wind has just been blowing so folks will be having a bit of a rough rub go getting out here but it's really impressive to see everyone out here of course you'll see that from the team car itself uh, and we'll just kind of go through what it looks like to be on the team car I don't know what's gonna happen today because the day hasn't happened yet so we're gonna find out I'm gonna take a lot of snippets from things I published on Twitter uh, in particular to try to navigate some of the tricky rules here on what you can publish and not publish um, from a right standpoint Point to the way uh, the tour all handles that from a, a media broadcasting rights standpoint. So with that, let's get started. Uh, we'll just kind of go through it snippet by snippet. Won't be a ton of like pure structure to this video since it's going to be kind of just as I go through the day. Okay, so just a quick walkthrough of the car here. This is the team car. They're all actually provided by the race in this case, so they're all identical um, cars. You can see there, if you look up here, all the other cars that are um, for the race, the turn on it, they're all provided, whereas at a lot of the other tours, they're not provided. Uh, the teams, of course, bring them themselves, but given the long trek to Australia from the service courses back home, mostly in Europe, uh, they just do it all here for them. We'll go ahead and we'll dive into the car in a second here, but I just want to give a look from the outside. So the order of the team vehicles following the peloton is actually random on the first stage of the tour. Uh, and then after that point, it's based on the GC standings. So basically where each team is positioned on the standings. In this case, uh, team FSJ was in 10th. So they were in 10th spot today uh, from a team car standpoint. Uh, what can I do with the radio? Is it on? Give it to me and uh, I check it and uh, pluck it up. He checks it and brings it back. Okay? 16 kilometer mark. Ah, it's not the right time. 30 seconds, 3 minutes, 3 zero seconds. Attention. Tranquilo, Chimo, no panic. Uh, now it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Grande Chimo, grande Chimo. Tu m'attends là, c'est bon C'est bon Je pense qu'elle est ça. Uh, I got another one in the, in the back, Parker. Another one in the back Yeah, yeah, yeah. In this bag Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give it to me. Yeah. Just uh, open here. Just down here. Chimo, Chimo, Sebo, Sebo. Stay your piece, then. Have you got the other yet, please? Yeah, just put it there. Hurra, Tamayo! And rider number 104 from Astana has rejoined the peloton after the wheel change. Fabene, Chimo, Fabene. You hear me? 
Do you hear me? Do you hear me? No, 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 no. Four minutes, two zero. Switch off here. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sebo, Vasi, Vasi. Go, go, go to bed. No, no, leave it, leave it, leave it. It's not the radio, it's, uh, it's the car. Ah, Put it on his back, back to his. Uh, oh, yeah. It's the radio, it just switch off here. We have some problems with the. I think you need to change the. Uh, the, the thing here. The van? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We bring Chimo back, you put the radio back to him. Yeah. Oh, now it's on again. The Rocco Sudal, if you can come forward to the <laughs> Chief Comms Car, Rocco Sudal to the Chief Comms Car. Just put it on to him, it will work. Okay? Now, unfortunately, we'd see him just a little bit later again, um, coming in for a bit of a mechanical problem. I'll let you listen to what's going on here. Mitchell from squad feeding for number 24. Now watch how quickly the mechanic swings on the other side and grabs the bike off the roof rack. You'll see it pulling off in just a second there. And then listen carefully what's going on with the bike. It explains it again real quick. Just, uh, just moved in like this, huh? Okay, so at this point he's now on a spare bike. Um, but hang on, the story doesn't end anytime soon, unfortunately. Uh, okay, so once we fix the front back, we need to stop. And we call you and we chase the bikes, huh? Okay? okay? It's better like that, huh? Can you help us for a while? We need to stop to fix a bike. If we have a puncture, if you can help out our boys. Not a problem. Okay, thanks. Thanks, buddy. So FDJ is going to try to fix the bike and they've asked Team Sky to cover for them going forward for the next little bit in case there's any mechanical issues. <laughs> Between the last video and now, uh, we actually pulled off the side of the road and we fixed the derailleur, they fixed it, I didn't do anything. Um, and then now they're swapping back to his race bike again. So this is what's going on right here. It actually happens very, very quickly. Um, the fixing, all that kind of stuff took a few minutes and whatnot. That's why they had Team Sky cover them. Uh, this bike will then go back up onto the roof rack, uh, is a spare again. Riders has dropped back to fill up bottles. Uh, so he's gonna take all these bottles up back up to the riders up front. Uh, now, the day before, they went through 80 bottles. Now, it was uh, between 43 and 45 degrees Celsius, almost 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, in this case, though, in some of those bottles, half of them were water, half of them were nutrition. Uh, in this case, though, he's looking just to take mostly nutrition bottles up since it's a little bit cooler today than it was yesterday. For number one, one Okay, all good. Tranquilly, Anton, he's ready to vélo. He's got the key to the door. Moving to the Moving to the door. Moving to the Okay, 
a little bit of context here this bike uh, for a rider 122 which is uh, Anthony um, has been had some bit of challenge today so far this is the second attempt to swap out of so it swapped out earlier on uh, from his race bike he went to a spare the spare though the saddle position it wasn't quite right um, things were just weren't working out well from a while there so swapped back to the race bike about half an hour later uh, this is his race bike here again so he's on that trying to sort things out hopefully that'll work out for him Pessoa virtual, Arena.
Okay, folks, so there you go. Just a look at a ride in the team car. Hope you found that pretty interesting. Uh, about four hours or so all in, uh, just a little under four hours in the car there. I tried to piece together as many little snippets as I could, just showing you stuff kind of behind the scenes that you wouldn't otherwise see. Um, it was a, a bit of a uh, busy day, as the guy said, um, as uh, the team car manager said there. You know, you heard obviously a lot of uh, changes, some mechanical issues with uh, one ride in particular, kind of repetitive stuff that kept on popping up. Um, but uh, beyond that, it was mostly just normal in terms of just getting uh, hydration to them and uh, keeping them kind of cool on a day like this. Uh, with that, anyways, th thanks a lot for watching and thanks to Team FTJ for going ahead and uh, let me ride along today on the on the course. Uh, very, very cool stuff and I uh, look forward to showing you more behind the scenes stuff down the road. Hit the subscribe button if you found this interesting or the like button if you found this really interesting. I really appreciate it. Have a good one.